So this is just a quick uh, demonstration of how to create a chart, to create charts from tables in PXF. So for the first chart, I'm going to I'm going to use uh, the table in one nine one three, and we're going to create a simple line chart from that table. I'm just going to go straight to that table. I'm going to click in here to the table. And as you can see here, there's uh, two tabs, one for table and one for chart. So I'm going to go into the chart tab to create my chart. I'm going to click on chart. So the first thing I need to do is pick the type of chart. So for the first chart, I'm just going to pick a simple line chart. So the first thing I need to choose is what dimension and what variables from what dimension I want to use as my x-axis. So for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to use uh, my x-axis is going to be the time. So I'm going to select all my years here from this from this chart. This table is to do with uh, consumption of personal income at current market prices. So I'm just going to label my x-axis year. So that's my x-axis now. So the next thing I need to do is pick one or more series to display on the chart. So I'm going to open up my series here. So now I need to pick one variable from every other dimension, every other dimension to, to build my series. So the, the first series I'm going to pick is, uh, so the variable I'm going to pick for my items here are food, beverages, and tobacco. So I'm just going to name my series that, so food, beverages, and tobacco. So now I'm going to create a second series on my chart as well. So I'm going to click on the add series. So that gives me another series here, another tab opens. So my second series I'm going to, uh, is going to be the is housing. So this will be all housing costs. I'm going to select here housing, which includes rent, low government charges, repairs, and decorations. You can choose to call it whatever you want up here. I'm just going to call it housing for now. So this is a very simple line chart, so that's all I've done. Just to recap again before we view the chart, on my x-axis, I've selected all of the years, and I have two series. The first series is my first series one tab here. That just selects food, beverages, and tobaccos, and I've called it that here. And my second series is housing, uh, all the housing costs. And because we only have one statistic, it's the same statistic selected for both series. Anyway. So if I click on my view chart now, so you can see here, the chart uh, displays underneath. So you can see your time series down the bottom here, uh, all your years, and you've got your two series here, food, beverages, and tobacco, and housing. So you can toggle them off, toggle them on and off if you wish. So from here, then you can choose to uh, just view the chart. You can download the chart. So that downloads, you can see it here, my downloads tray down the bottom here. So I have a PNG file. So I can go and use that PNG file wherever I wish. We also then have the option to take this, to render this chart anywhere for anywhere you want in any HTML page. So if you want to take it to a personal website, blog, or whatever, uh, we've provided an easy function down here. So we've just got this snippet code here. So if you have selected auto updates true, so it's true by default. If you leave that on as true, it just means that if any of the underlying data in the CSO gets updated in the background, then if you have renders this chart in your website, it will automatically be updated as well. So I'm just going to copy that snippet code. I have uh, a simple um, HTML page here. So if you just imagine this is my chart. I have the chart in there. All I did there, I just, all you do is you paste the, paste your snippet code in here, save it, and it renders, renders the chart um, in your, in your HTML page here. So you just see the chart coming through then. So it goes off the CSO fetches the data and renders it as a chart, okay? So that's how you would create a very, very simple line chart. So I'm just gonna give you a demonstration of another type of chart as well, it's maybe a pie chart. Okay, so if I go back to PXStat, so for the pie chart, I'm gonna use a different table. So I'm going to go up here and change my table to uh, BRA16. So BRA16 is a business demography table. So here again, I'm going to create a pie chart. So I'm going to go click on my chart tab. So the chart type this time, I'm going to select pie. 
So the first thing I need to select is my category. So these are effectively slices of the pie chart. Okay, so uh, for this, I'm going to select all the different types of person engaged. I'm going to leave out the all person engaged because that's an aggregation of everything. But for this pie chart, I'm going to select all the different uh, categories under the person engaged dimension. So these will be the slices on my pie chart. For a pie chart, you only have one series. So I'm going to say, I'm going to um, name. So my, I'm going to name my series now. Uh, I'm going to call it persons engaged. So I'm actually going to select uh, persons engaged here. I'm going to select the retail trade activity, and I'm going to select 2018. So I'm going to I'm going to name my series now persons engaged in retail. Trade 2018. Okay, so because it's a pie chart, you only have one series, and you can name your series uh, appropriately depending on what you've selected. So now, if I go and view my pie chart, here you can see um, the data represented on a pie chart. So again, I can choose to download that. I can also um, take it as uh, take the snippet code and embed it in my own. So I'm just going to replace the, the chart I did earlier just to show you how that works. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm just going to replace the first chart I did with the new chart, save my file. And I'm going to go back here to my uh, personal website. And I'm just going to refresh that. So now we should get the pie chart instead. There you get the pie chart rendered in uh, your own uh, site. Here you have a reference link to the table if you want, if somebody wants to go to the source of the, the table says where the copyright is, and it's also associated with the date that the date was last updated. So again, if this data gets updated uh, in the in the CSO, it automatically gets updated on your website as well, provided to have the auto updates uh, turned on. So that's two basic examples of how to create um, a line chart and a pie chart. There's other options as well. Um, that you can create different types of charts, but they're, they're, that's just an example of two, uh, two simple pie charts. Are two simple charts, a line chart and a quick chart.